Hello and welcome to another mix-up video. I've got these two products. I've got Boylan Bottling Company's Shirley Temple. Boylan established 1891, headquartered in New York City, New York. Uh, this uses real natural, real natural, that makes sense, real natural flavor and real natural color and real natural sugar cane sweetener. Um, I bought this a dollar twenty-five tree. It's got a good date on it. I'd never had it before. There's a lot of video reviews. It's gonna take a long time to watch them all. It has an unusual vegetable to me, a, like a sweet, sugary, makes sense sugar cane, but vegetable, spice vegetable flavor. Never tasted anything like that before in a soda pop. Well, the Haritos, the Jaritos, little jars, the Haritos tamarind, similar to this. <clears throat> you know, like the spice vegetative thing. But um, that one's more like spice fruit. Okay, Kamchatka, introduced in 1944 by a company called Hart Distilling. And then now it's under the control of James B. Beam Distilling. So yeah, Beam doesn't just make bourbon. They make other things, but they sort of distance themselves from it because they're using an alias name here, bottled bottle by Kamchatka Company of America, Claremont and Frankfort, Kentucky. That's the bean distilleries, but it's vodka with premium liqueur. I don't know why they want to add liqueur to it, but they do. Uh, doesn't say they make it. They said they bottle it. So they're bottling it, and I think they're very likely buying the base spirit from Midwest Grain Products. And I was at a Barton distillery, and they told me, yes, they bought their grain spirits from Midwest Grain Products. It was just, I guess it was just cheaper to buy that in bulk from them instead of making it yourself, because that's what MGD does, put out a whole lot of vodka, to sell off to whoever wants to buy it, different grades of it, and a whole lot of gin and for the same purpose and different grades of it. Okay, so Kamchak, 1944, named after our, our, our region of Russia, Pacific Coast region of Russia, and um, what, it's not had nothing to do with Kentucky, but you know, with vodka brands, they try to make them sound Russian. Nikolai, Vodovska, um, Kamchatka, and probably any other name you could think of they'll use. This was $12.99 for this hand, okay, this handle, $12.99. I bought it at, I've only seen it once in Louisiana, but if it's there, it's probably somewhere else. I bought it at Rindy on uh, State Highway across, it, Rindy's across the street from uh, Southeastern Louisiana University. I can't think of the name of that highway number. There are all these weird, Louisiana has all these weird, like, sh sort of short state highways. Well, actually, some of them are 20 miles long, but they, they're 3,000. I call them 3,000 series. 3127, 3188, 3220. You can't remember when the, the numbers are so long, but um, 3119, which runs about a block. Like, literally one block. Uh, but uh, there's no 2,000 series highways. Like by me is Louisiana Highway 44, makes sense. Louisiana Highway 44, there's Highway 1 that runs north and south. All the same pattern, north and south is uh, odd, east west is even. That runs from the top corner of Louisiana to the southeast corner. But then they got these weird 3000 series, I don't get it. Okay, anyway. <sighs> Then you got other states with even stranger ways to do their highways. Trunk highways and then smaller state highways, like in Tennessee. Trunk highway and smaller state highway. <laughs> Grades of them. Oh yeah, Texas does too, don't they? State highway and then farm to market road. Which is a state highway. Okay, um... Just smell like grain, honestly. I don't pick up any liqueur on this one. Let's go with the taste real fast. 
Now, is there a regular Kamchatka with no liqueur? Could be. Don't know. Could be flavored ones. You know, like Kamchatka orange, Kamchatka lemon, lime. Yeah, it's sweet. It is sweet and sugary, which is not indicative of a true vodka. But it does make sense as a vodka with premium liqueur. All right. So let's go with boiling. How's it going to mix? Probably very well. Oh yeah, Camchak on its own merits. It's a solid 86. It's a good product. It's worth buying. Do I drink vodka on, on its own? Never. Do I make vodka cocktails? Yeah, with these soda pops, pure sugar, that's it. That's the only time I ever drank vodka, meaning once a week with these mix-ups. You say, you're lying. Now, how am I lying? These things have been lasting so long. I mean, Nikolai's still got enough for uh, many more mix-ups. And this thing, I've had it for years. I don't really even have any particular interest in vodka, to tell you the truth. But, on the other hand, it is the most popular type of spirit. The most popular class of spirits in the United States. It's, it's not even close. You say bourbon is where it's at. Bourbon is where it's at in many cases. Bourbon whiskey, which is a type of whiskey. And that's the class of liquor. The class is whiskey. The type is bourbon. Um... But no, no, actually, vodka is the, the clear and present winner as far as sales. You say, once again, that's Americans. They don't want taste. Uh, there may be some truth to that. They want the effect. I don't know. Well, let's hope. Let's hope that there's something they're seeing in vodka that's, that's erudite, you know, not just problematic. So this is a winner. Go with 86 out of 100 for the mix-up. 89 for uh, the Shirley Temple. It's a bit strange, but certainly would recommend trying it. Now I got one more vodka to do. It's pure vodka. It's not jacked up with liqueur. Uh, and when I tell you the price, you won't believe it. But it's the truth. And I checked the other day, and they're still selling it for that price. <laughs> All right, so thank you for watching this video production. And I'm going to end this review by saying y'all go to... Indiana and take a tour of the MGP distillery. I'd like to, I would love to, to tour that distillery.